Hello, today I'll show you how to deploy the Gluster Virtual Storage Appliance for VMware using the VMware vSphere client. The Virtual Storage Appliance for VMware packages the GlusterFS file system in a virtual machine container, optimized for ease of use with little to no configuration required. The Virtual Storage Appliance seamlessly integrates with existing VMware environments, allowing you to deploy virtual storage the same way you deploy virtual machines. On this slide, you'll see the anatomy of a Gluster storage pool running on-premise in a VMware environment. Each virtual storage appliance ties to any number of ESX servers and aggregates all CPU, disk, memory, and network resources together and presents a large storage pool to the end user. And you can scale out capacity and performance as needed. Now let's move on to deployment. Once you have registered and downloaded the virtual storage appliance for VMware, you will need to log into the VMware vSphere client. Here you see the VMware vSphere client main screen. From the top navigation, choose File, Deploy OVF Template. Next, copy the download URL Gluster sent you or browse to the OVA file you received after registering and click Next. Review the screen and click Next. Then enter a unique name for the deployed template. Choose a format or continue with Thick Provision. Note, even if you choose Thick Provision, Gluster will thin provision by default. Finally, review and click Finish. After a few minutes have passed, you'll receive a message that your deployment was completed successfully. Once complete, navigate to the Virtual Machines tab to configure the Virtual Storage Appliance. Right-click the appliance and select Edit Settings. In the Hardware tab, click Add. Select Hard Disk and click Next. Then select Create a new virtual disk and click Next. Specify the disk capacity and select a data store location. Click Next to continue through the wizard. Review the summary and click Finish. Here you'll see the new virtual disk appear in the list. Now that you have successfully deployed and configured your virtual storage appliance for VMware, please see our next video on how to provision storage in your Gluster cluster including launching additional appliances from the VMware vSphere client interface. Thank you.